Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I protect my curls at night to make sure they last as long as possible and so I don't have to keep refreshing my hair. I've been doing this method a really long time and it really is the only thing that works for me. I'm someone that doesn't like to wear things on my head at night. They do annoy me in the night and I end up taking them off anyway without even realising. So if you are one of those people as well, you might find this video really helpful. If you want to see exactly how I do it, keep on watching the video. So I'm having a pretty good wash day today today. Um, it is the evening. It is 9pm and I want to preserve my hair for tomorrow. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. Don't mind Frank in the background. He has come to join me. No, that is not a lion. <laughs> right. So I'm going to tie the back up with a silk scrunchie. These big, amazing scrunchies are from Curl Friend Collective and I love them so much. I feel like as my hair has got more dense, small scrunchies or standard str scrunchies actually like ruin my curls because they're too tight. This is perfect for me. So I have lots of these. I also have a discount code. This will all be in my description. This is the tutorial. So I'm gonna tie the back up of my hair first. So I flip over and then I take this back section So I'm taking this back section here and then I'm just literally leaving it like that. <laughs> Not leaving it like this, but I mean leaving the back section like this. And what I do is, see, look at these juicy ringlets. I don't want to ruin these. So what I do is take these mini claw clips. They look like that. Then I take these sections at the front and I kind of like bend so can you see it's like going like that and I bend them and then I clip them in horizontally like this not like that like in like this so the clips have actually like clipped into the scrunchie as opposed to into my head like digging right into my head and this is how I'm able to sleep at night without any pain um, and then I continue to do the same thing all around and I'm almost like join these together and just pinch. Taking this, pinching in. I'm taking some of the pony with this and I'm bending it into the scrunchie, going in horizontally like that. And it's pinched into the scrunchie, not into the scalp, because that would be too painful. I'm just gonna maybe clip in a few more. See this here, I can clip that in as well. And trust me, this is worth it, because if you have an amazing wash day and you work out how to preserve your curls, you're sorted. I've heard a lot of people say that it's not imp it's not possible to preserve curls and I've got to say I totally disagree because I'm going to show you tomorrow what my hair looks like taking this out and I think you'll be quite shocked like at how well this works. So obviously go ahead try it see if it works for you. I know I constantly say this on my channel but it this is literally all trial and error like everyone's so unique like loads of stuff that I actually watched in the beginning when I was starting out on my um, curly hair journey like tons of stuff I absorbed from other people and it, it didn't work for me I was frustrated at the time so I just wanted to get my curls back I was like oh someone said do this and it's not working but obviously after time you realize we all have such unique different heads of hair so you do have to just take tips and tricks and try them out and see if they work and if you find something that really works for you then it's like oh yes Frank what are you doing? Mickey, what have you found under there? What, are you doing? what have you found under there? It's a funny boy. So you might be wondering what the logic is like behind this. How does it work at preserving? Well, the bending motion that I just did at the front, it almost like creates more volume, I feel like, on this top layer. And the bending of it sort of blends in with the curls. So when you take it out, it doesn't look 
like it's it's not been stretched at all like if I just stretched it into a bun like all of it the top layer of my hair would be pretty stretched the only part that is stretched is a bit right in the middle from where I tie it up with the scrunchie but it's really not too much it's actually like quite loose but because these grips are in it's keeping the style in place nothing's digging into my head at all and now I will go and sleep on a silk pillowcase and I don't wear a bonnet I don't wear a scarf on my head I just really struggle with that um I get annoyed with it in the night and I'll like end up throwing it off but if you want to do that go for it even though this is like something I do to protect my hair at night I don't feel like it looks too bad so like in the morning sometimes i leave it like this as well for like until the end of the day or even for two days sometimes this just completely stays like that and then i end up like just say i've got like wispy bits here i end up like putting a headband on anyway i will see you in the morning and i'll show you how i take this out and show you how well it preserves my curls hi guys so i've just woken up pretty much like within the last few minutes um so sorry about my appearance hi frank <laughs> he's wondering what i'm doing um but yeah i wanted to show you my hair before i did anything at all it's exactly how it was when it went up pretty much like this bit's kind of come out maybe a little bit yeah um we've definitely got some more frizz here so yeah i just want to show you it holds up so well obviously the clips didn't dig in at all because they're in the scrunchie not in my scalp and yeah i'm pretty impressed that obviously we haven't taken it out yet but i'm going to show you shortly i'm going to go and get a coffee and i'm going to put some makeup on get ready for my day so i've got a lot of work to do today and i'm going to show you how i take it out and we're going to see if there's any bits that didn't quite make it and if we do have bits like that, we are going to refresh them, but I don't think we will. I'm gonna take my hair out now. Let's see what we are dealing with. Um, to put this top on, by the way, I put silk over my head, like a scarf um, to pull it on. So now I'm gonna take the clips out and we're gonna see what we're dealing with. So I'm quite careful here. I'm gonna get close. Hopefully you can see me. Let me shine a light right on my hair. So I'm taking the clips out, just gently, like that. So I'm gonna gently Take the silk scrunchie out and now I'm going to shake. I have more volume than I did when I put it up. That is one of the benefits of doing this. Do you see much frizz? I don't see much. There's a little bit. I think I want a side part so I'm going to put my hair over to this side. I wouldn't say that this is the sort of hair that needs a refresh. Um, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, we've got a lot of volume at the root. We've got the definition still. We don't have loads of stretch bits at the bottom. We've still got bounce. Yeah, I'm so happy with this method. I've been using it a really long time and it really saves me so much hassle because I'm not having to do a full refresh or anything. I don't need to wash my hair. Um, if I wasn't happy with it for whatever reason, I would do a little style. Some things that I sometimes do are I clip one bit back, especially if one side is like frizzier or something, and I just put in a clip here. Um, and that's like a really quick, cute style. Um, but I honestly don't think I need it, and I want to just have it all down. Um, if there are any tiny little frizzy bits, you can go in with like your favourite serum or oil. So I'll show you what I would do. Um, there's a tiny bit, obviously you're always going to get a little bit of frizz. I mean, I have a little bit of frizz straight after I wash my hair, like, you know, curly hair comes with frizz, that's just how it is. Um, so I'm taking a tiny bit of oil, this is a Coco and Eve, um, it's called Miracle Hair Elixir. And I really love the smell of this. And I'm just taking a tiny bit on my hands and then where any of the frizz is, I just kind of smooth it. I either just smooth it completely like that, depending on how bad it is. 
but it's really not at all. And then maybe I will like twirl it into a few curls. That would take too long to go around the whole head, but it's just any that are really standing out and like maybe annoying you. Um, or if the ends are feeling particularly dry, you can just kind of seal them a little bit again. Also, there is such a thing as letting hair settle. And what you might find is you could, it might not look its best the minute you take it out after shaking, but leaving it like even 15 minutes can sometimes make a drastic difference. The hair just kind of settles being down. It's been up for like so many hours and it needs to just reform itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my hair now, I'm not touching it at all. I've put a tiny bit of this oil in, as we've just seen, and we're gonna compare. Um, maybe I'll come back in 30 minutes, I'm gonna go and eat some breakfast. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll come back after that and we'll see like if my hair has changed at all. So it's been about an hour now since I actually took the clips out and I put a tiny bit of oil on some strands and I have just let it settle, I've just had some food and I've not gone outside or anything. Um, and my hair looks great, like I'm really happy with how it is. If anything, I have slightly more volume than I did yesterday, which was a day one wash day. And I'm really happy with how it looks right now. So I've not had to do any extensive refreshing or re-wetting or anything like that. And I was just patient with my hair. And even though I was happy with it the minute I took it out of the clips, I knew just like giving it an hour or so, um, my hair would bounce up a little bit more, like before I decided to go outside and stuff. Um, so like if you were doing this before work, I would advise taking it out as soon as possible and then letting it settle before you leave the house. And yeah. It's my favorite way to tie up my hair. Um, if you have very short hair, you can try doing half up and leaving half down. Also, if you have very long hair, um, you could actually tie that back section into like more of a bun as opposed to a ponytail. Um, but play around with it, see what works for you. And then of course, just make sure you are sleeping on something really smooth like silk or satin, because that is really gonna help reduce the frizz and the friction and help preserve your curls. And that is everything guys. That is exactly how I protect my hair at night to make my curls last as long as possible. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content from me. I'll see you in my next one, bye.